News Solutions team continues to follow the rising sextortion cases across the country and here in Ohio. Criminals targeting kids, tricking them into sending compromising pictures of themselves, then bribing them for money. I sat down with two families at the forefront of fighting to get justice. Tonight, we learn more about what's being done to try to stop this crime. Like if I could just got the word out sooner, then maybe, you know, James could have heard that and things might have been different. Brandon Guffey says he feels partly responsible, wishing he could have done something to save the life of James Woods. The Streetsboro teen took his life November 2022 after being a victim of sextortion. James thought he was exchanging compromising photos with a 19-year-old girl who reached out to him on Instagram. The sextortionist tried to blackmail him for thousands of dollars, money he didn't have. Because I knew the pain that they were going to, to going through. The pain of also losing his child to the crime. Guffey's son Gavin took his life July of 2022. The South Carolina teen also a victim of sextortion. I wouldn't ask for someone else to join us in, in this uh, war that we have going on here. You know, I waited my whole life to have a kid, and when I finally get one, somebody decides to take him away. It's like a parasite that sucks the life out of these children and preys on their shame. For the first time, Tim and Tamia Woods, along with Brandon Guffey, seen together in a 19 News interview talking about their journey. The now friends forever linked through tragedy on a mission to protect and educate others about the dangers of sextortion. We traveled to Tennessee for CrimeCon, where the two families were part of a special panel on sextortion, talking about what's being done to try to stop the predators. Guffey, a South Carolina rep, getting a law passed last year named after his son Gavin. And we just learned Michigan lawmakers want his help with a similar law in their state. There's 15 year uh, penalty if you target a minor, an additional 15 years if great bodily harm or death occurs from that. Gavin's law also requires sextortion education in all South Carolina schools. Here in Ohio, there's a newly introduced bill called Braden's Law in honor of a Crawford County 15 year old who took his life October 2021. Braden Marcus thought he was talking to a teenage girl on Instagram, the scammers demanding hundreds of dollars. If passed, Braden's law could make sextortion in Ohio a felony up to 21 years in prison. In addition, it could require companies to give parents of deceased minors access to locked devices within a month of their children's death. Have you saved lives already? Yes. I've had parents call me crying and thanking me because their kid was suicidal and came to them because of Gavin's story, because of James' story. I think that our children need to know that there are resources behind them and there are forces behind them that can hold people accountable for these evil things that they do. Well, Braden's mom tells me the bill here in Ohio seems to be moving quickly. She hopes the sextortion law will be in effect before the end of the year. And of course, we will keep you posted.